Today I want to share my thoughts on two Canon cameras, the Canon EOS 77D, also known as the 9000D, and the Canon EOS 600D, also known as the EOS Rebel T3i in the US, or the EOS KISS X5 in Japan. In this review we'll cover the pros and cons of both cameras, so you can get a better idea of which one might be right for you. One of the first things I want to cover is how portable these cameras are. The Canon EOS 77D measures 131 by 99.9 by 76.2 mm or 5.16 by 3.93 by 3 inches and weighs around 540 grams or 19.05 ounces. Similarly, the Canon EOS 600D measures 133.1 by 99.5 by 79.7 mm or 5.24 by 3.92 by 3.14 inches and weighs around 560 grams or 19.75 ounces. So both cameras are relatively compact and lightweight, making them easy to take with you on the go. However, it's worth noting that this can change depending on the lenses you use with them. As a quick side note, I've reviewed several lenses on my channel, so be sure to check out the links below or click the card in the top right corner. When it comes to build quality, both cameras are solid choices. The 77D is crafted with a combination of aluminium alloy and polycarbonate resin, while the 600D boasts a durable stainless steel and polycarbonate resin construction, complete with conductive fiber. Of course, the question on everyone's mind is whether these cameras can deliver in the photography department. Can they take impressive shots? It's important to note that the lens you choose will greatly impact your photo's quality. However, for the purposes of this discussion, let's focus solely on the contributions of the camera itself. To start, let's talk about the sensors. Both cameras feature the same size 223 by 149 mm APS-C sensor, but the 77D offers 24.2 megapixels, while the 600D only has 18 megapixels. When it comes to the processor, the 77D is equipped with the Digic 7, while the 600D features the Digic 4. You may wonder how the sensor and processor differences impact the camera's performance. Here's a breakdown of the improvements that the Digic 7 and 4 processors brought to the Canon cameras. With the 7th generation Digic processor, Canon significantly improved image processing power, resulting in much faster autofocus speeds and reduced image noise. Additionally, subject detection was enhanced, leading to more accurate focusing. As for the 4th generation Digic, we saw faster image processing when compared to previous models, improved noise reduction in high ISO images, and the addition of H.264 1080p video recording capabilities. When it comes to ISO, the 77D offers a range of 100 to 25,600, which can be expanded to 51,200. The 600D, on the other hand, offers a range of 100 to 6400, also expandable to 12,800. Keeping ISO on the lower end is generally recommended, as higher ISO levels can introduce unwanted noise into your photos. Moving on to autofocus, the 77D boasts up to 45 autofocus points, while the 600D offers 9. Additionally, the 77D features a dual pixel AF a powerful autofocus technology that the 600D does not have. With a high number of autofocus points and the addition of dual pixel AF, the 77D offers better autofocusing, which can be especially helpful in a variety of scenarios. If you want to capture fast moving subjects, you may wonder about the camera's shutter speed capabilities. Both the 77D and 600D have a maximum shutter speed of 1 4000th of a second, which can be useful for freezing motion. But what if you want to quickly capture multiple frames to increase your chances of getting the perfect shot, particularly in sports or wildlife photography? In that case, you'll want to utilize the camera's continuous shooting mode. The 77D offers a continuous shooting mode of 6 frames a second, while the 600D can shoot at 3.7 frames a second. In other words, the 77D can capture 6 photos within 1 second, while the 600D captures 3.7. This feature can be incredibly helpful when trying to capture fast motion, as the more frames you can capture per second, the better your chances of getting the exact shot you're looking for. If you're interested in the camera's video capabilities, here's what you need to know. The 77D can shoot 1080p video at 60fps, while the 600D can shoot 1080p at 30fps and 720p at 60fps. Unfortunately, neither camera offers Canon Log, a feature found in more expensive cameras that allows for greater dynamic range in your footage. 
Moving on to image stabilization, neither camera has built-in optical image stabilization, or IBIS. While most cameras offer digital stabilization, it's generally not recommended to use it. In-body digital IS is rarely effective and the stabilization gets baked into the video, so you won't have a backup of the video without it. While you can experiment with digital stabilization if you wish, it's typically not a great option. In general, it's not worth relying on in-camera digital stabilization. It's often better to film shaky footage and stabilize it later in post-production using software like Premiere. If you do want optical stabilization, consider getting a lens like the Canon EFS 18-55mm kit lens, but make sure it has IS in the name. With this lens, you'll get in-lens stabilization, which is generally more effective than in-camera digital stabilization. Now, can these cameras be used for vlogging? In theory, you can use either of these cameras for vlogging, but there are a few factors to consider. For vlogging, it's ideal to have a camera with a flip screen, so you can see yourself when recording. Fortunately, both the 77D and 600D have flip screens, which not only makes vlogging easier, but also helps protect the glass surface of the screen when it's in your bag. Another important factor to consider is the type of sensor the camera has. In this case, both cameras feature cropped APS-C sensors, which produce a more zoomed-in image than full-frame sensors. Due to the cropped APS-C sensors on both cameras, it's best to stick to lenses with shorter focal lengths when vlogging. Many lenses can become too zoomed in for handheld vlogging once you factor in the camera's crop factor. The Canon EFS 18-55mm kit lens would be a suitable option for both. You can zoom the lens all the way out to fit more in frame, and if you get the version with IS, it will produce smoother video, which is ideal for most scenarios. Alternatively, you can use the Canon 24mm pancake lens, which is wide enough for vlogging, However, this lens does not have any IS, so the footage may be shakier. If you plan on placing the camera on a tripod, the recommended lenses change significantly. In this case, using the 18-55mm or 24mm lenses is not advisable. Instead, consider the Canon EF 50mm f1.4 or f1.8. These lenses can open up wider, letting in more light, and producing beautiful bokeh, the attractive blurry background effect many people love. Keep in mind that these lenses would not be suitable for handheld vlogging, as they are too zoomed in and lack image stabilization. By the way, I've reviewed all of these lenses on my channel. You can find the link to my lens review playlist down below, or click the card in the top right corner for my recommendations. By the way, if you find this video helpful, don't forget to leave a like. Also, if you'd like to purchase any of the items mentioned in this video, I have affiliate links down below. Now, which lenses are these cameras compatible with? So, both the 77D and 600D are compatible with the Canon EF and EFS lenses. This includes lenses like the Canon EF 50mm f1.8 and the Canon EFS 18-55mm kit lens, as well as many others. When you add third-party lenses to the mix, the options become endless. What about displays? Both the 77D and 600D have good quality flip screens on the back. These screens are adequate for navigating menus and checking photos, and can also be used for vlogging or flipped around to protect the screen while in your bag. In addition, the 7070 has a small LCD on the top that not only looks cool, but also makes it easy to check your settings quickly. While some people may not appreciate this LCD's look, I find it quite appealing. Right, what about storage? Unfortunately, neither of these cameras has a dual SD card slot. This feature is typically found on high-end cameras and not entry-level or mid-level models. The benefit of having two SD card slots is that you can create real-time backups of your photos, with each photo being saved to both cards simultaneously. For professional gigs, having a second SD card means you can recover your files even if one of the cards fails. SD card failures are not very common, especially if you cycle through multiple cards over time However, it is still possible and having a backup option can provide peace of mind. In addition to the backup feature, having two SD card slots also allows you to double your storage capacity. You can use both cards separately to store even more photos and videos. Okay, what about connectivity? The 77D has Wi-Fi connectivity while the 600 does not. In addition, the 77D has Bluetooth and NFC features, which the 600D also lacks. These features allow for wireless transfer of photos and videos from the camera to other devices, as well as allowing you to remotely control the camera using a smartphone or tablet. 
Both cameras are quite versatile, but how long will they last while you're taking photos? The 77D uses an LPE17 battery, which is capable of providing around 600 shots, while the 600D uses an LPE8 battery, which can provide approximately 450 shots. However, there are several factors that can impact battery life, such as screen usage, battery age, and air temperature. As a precaution, carrying a few spare batteries with you is always a good idea, particularly if you're working with others. Okay, so what are these cameras designed for? Both of these cameras can be used for purposes such as portrait photography, street photography, capturing photos of products, landscapes, weddings, and events. Your lens choice is way more important than the camera itself for these examples. On the other hand, if you want to capture sports and wildlife, as well as more documentary style shoots, while your choice of lens is still crucial, this is where it gets a bit more complicated. Ideally, you want a fast shutter speed for sports and wildlife, and a good number of frames per second in continuous mode. Refer to the image quality section of this review if you want to revisit that. In terms of documentary shooting, you'll be fine for photos, but when it comes to video, again, it gets a bit more complicated, so I'll refer you back to the video section if you need to go over that again. Cool, so how long will these cameras last me overall? The 77D and 600D are not weather sealed, so protecting them from the elements is important. In terms of actuations, both cameras are rated for around 100,000 clicks. Remember that the mechanical nature of cameras means they have a limited lifespan. Each time you take a photo, it counts as an actuation. Based on a rating of 100,000 actuations and taking an average rate of 10 photos per day, these cameras should last about 27 years. However, it's worth noting that other components of the camera may fail before reaching the actuation limit. Additionally, if you're purchasing a second-hand camera, you'll need to adjust your calculations based on the number of photos it has already taken. Be sure to check the camera listing to see the actuation count before making a purchase. I hope this review has been helpful to you. If you're interested in finding out the prices of these cameras and lenses, I have included affiliate links below for your convenience. If you'd like to check out more of my reviews, you can find the relevant links below or click the card in the top right corner. Do you have any questions? Feel free to comment below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and hit that bell and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.